Okay, so now we're going to show you a simple routine to deal with our neck pain. So here's our neck routine, and our neck routine is going to consist of exercises that deal with um, performing neck extension, neck flexion, or scalene muscles, or cervical retractors. We're going to do some stretching of the neck muscles, show you some uh, very simple massage techniques that you can do on your own for your neck and upper back, as well as um, thoracic extensions to help to deal with uh, tight upper back muscles, um, as well as an exercise called needle treading or treading the needle, again, uh, which is designed to help to unlock the upper back um, that is tight. Okay, so uh, with neck extensions, so what you want to do, you want to lay down on your belly and prop yourself up on your forearms, like this here. Okay, and then you let the head come down. Look up at the ceiling, come down, look up at the ceiling, okay? Do this for 10 to 15 times. Uh, what you're not doing is letting the torso plop down between the shoulders like that, no? It's propped up firmly, and you're not letting the head drop down like this, and, and flinging the head up like that. It's a control movement, up and down. Uh, for the neck flexions, you know, the back, turn over. And it's basically it's a chin to chest. And now, again, no quick jerky movements, nice and controlled. Okay? So that's your neck flexion. While you're laying on your back, you deal with the scaling muscles, these muscles that are right here. Instead of chin to chest, it's really nose towards ceiling, like this. Head is off the floor, come back down. Up. Head is off the floor, hold for a second, and you come back down. Uh, normally, when you have tight scalings, even doing five or 10 of these should, would be a challenge, but as you get better and better, you should be able to do 25, 30 of these uh, very easily. Okay, now we're gonna deal with the cervical retractors. Uh, for those of you who are um, on a laptop um, for long periods of time, and you have your head thrown forward like this because you're constantly on the laptop or, or um, leaning over a desk to mark papers, for example, teachers. So what you want to do, stand up straight, and you look at an imaginary point on the wall in front of you, and you drawing the head backwards, making a double chin, and release. Pull back, make a double chin, and release. Uh, some of you, when you're drawing the head back, the, you tend to look up or down, and that's not what you want. What you don't want is this, or this. No, that is not the movement. Try to. Keep your eyes on that uh, imaginary point directly in front of you. And make a double chin. Hold for a second, and you release. Draw back, and release, okay? If you get in trouble doing that, you can start by throwing the head forward like this. Then draw back. Okay, uh, you may feel some tension right behind here. Uh, that is normal when you're now starting off. If your neck muscles are tight, expect some uh, muscle soreness um, on the day after. That's normal. Okay, then you want to stretch the muscles right here. Look straight ahead. Take this hand, take the hand on the opposite side. Put it just above the ear right here. And you pull. Just a little bit of a stretch right there. Over for 20 to 30 seconds. Slide the hand here, push. Head out of, out of the stretch, opposite hand. Remember, just above the ear. Slight pull, feel a stretch right there. 20 to 30 seconds, slide the hand, and come out of it, okay? You can do that um, on three sets for each side, okay? Uh, now we come, with, um, come to some simple uh, massage techniques uh, that you can use with a tennis ball or a golf ball or something that's called a peanut massager, which I will show you. So you'll want to start with your tennis ball or your cricket ball. And where the um, ball is going, it's be between the spine and the shoulder blade. Keep it off the spine. Keep it off these solid points here. Keep it here. Lay down. Between the spine and the shoulder blade. Hold the ball in position. And you start here, here. Hand is on the tummy. Roll back and forward. If you need to adjust the ball to get different zones, that's fine, up and down. If you land on a very tight spot, you can hold it there, 
short focus movements to really get and knead those spots out. And what you can also do, you can play with the hand position, you can put it out here. Again, repeat the rolling movement, really try to get all those tight spots out. Put the hand above the head. Again, this, this will feel a bit different. Try to get it just, be, just by the edge of the shoulder blade right there. A lot of people have some tight spots there. Um, this area is all tricky to get, so you can bring the tennis ball right here. Take the opposite hand, hold it in, in position, keep this hand loose, and really focus on getting that zone of the trapezius muscle. You may feel some knots or, or some lumps. It might be a bit painful, put some focus pressure on that. Okay? Uh, for those of you who want to get a bit more aggressive, uh, you can use a golf ball. Yeah, the principle is the same. Okay, so a golf ball can do the same thing. Okay, where you just lay back down. Okay. Again, principle is the, is the same, and nothing changes much here. It's just that the golf ball may be actually be a bit more painful because it's more focused, it's more solid, and it can, re like right here, I'm getting a tight spot. So I'm really gonna work on that. A little bit of side to side, up and down. You may feel some pain shooting from that point into the neck or into the ear, even around the eye or the nose. If you feel uncomfortable with that, just ease off a bit and go back in again, okay? Uh, generally do this for about um, one to three minutes depending on your pain tolerance levels or, or how tight the areas are. Now, with the golf ball or tennis ball, you do one side and then you do the other side. Uh, but you can purchase something called an, a peanut massager. And a peanut massager does both sides at the same time. So it's like this, it's really like two tennis balls here. One for the left, one for the right. And the spine is protected by this groove right here. So just come back on the floor. The same as both sides at the same time. So now you just roll both sides at the same time. Up and down, up and down. Notice how my, my buttock is off the floor. I'm pushing body backward and forward. Or rocking some side to side. If I'm on a tight spot, both hands can start on the tummy. Then you can put both hands out to the side. Lay down, and both hands can go above you. Adjust the body, go a bit higher. And notice the spine will be protected because of that groove. Uh, the ball is not going to uh, rub on the spine itself. It will, however, massage the muscles on, on both either the left or right side. You just play with the movements, really kind of individualize your massage technique. Okay, so this is very effective. Okay, now those are the muscles. Uh, I also spoke about the thoracic spine right here, the upper back uh, being a bit tight. Uh, so you can, there are certain things that could be done uh, to help to loosen that up. So what you can do, you can get a chair. Sit on a chair right here, okay. So notice how the, get a hard chair, notice how the back of the chair cuts, just the mid upper back. Now if you're a, uh, a short person, you may want to sit down on some um, pillows to sort of elevate yourself. Um, clasp both hands, put it behind the head. And you lean back over the chair, as far as you can, and you come back forward. You can lean back, the arm that does support the head. And you, you Coming back forward using the abdominal muscles, you're not taking any hands to pull your head forward, using here to pull you forward. So on your back, and use the abs, come back forward. Throw the upper back over the chair, and you're coming back. Okay, do that about 20 to 30 times. Um, alternatively, you can use a couple other implements, like a, a muscle roller or a bosu ball. So again, you can spread the mat right here. Okay, so you get a muscle roller right here. Right. Uh, lean over and let the muscle roller gently massage the muscles of the upper back. So the lean back, relax. This will help to stretch the upper back, start giving you back that mobility. Okay, about two to three minutes. If this is uncomfortable because you think the, um, the grooves or the knobs are rubbing into the spine, this may not be for you. Okay. Okay, if you also have like a, a, a bosu ball. Okay, bosu ball, that's your half Swiss ball. Okay. 
can just lay down on the bosu ball right here. Then the upper back stretching. You need to just play with it, adjust yourself. Okay, this is good. Okay, so I'm really getting that stretch there now. And let's relax. Relax for about a five minutes right here. Okay, maybe, maybe you might want to listen to some music to let the uh, time pass faster, as well as relax you. And if you relax, uh, you're more likely to, uh, for the muscles to release and for you to get that stretch you're looking for. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do our next exercise, something called treading the needle. So, what you wanna do, go down on the arms and, arms and legs like this. Here, you're taking this arm, you're gonna pass it through the space here, as far as you can. And you come back, you look at the ceiling, as far as you can. Come back, go through, as far as you can. Okay, do this around 20 times on this side. Then you switch over, as far as you can, come back, as far as you can. Okay, nice and controlled, there's no, there's no swinging like this. Okay, All right, that is wrong. Control, as far as you can, come back, as far as you can. Okay, 10 to 20 times either side. Okay, so um, this is a very basic uh, neck, um, neck pain, neck tension, um, exercise routine. Um, give it a try. Um, you will, I, for most of you, you will get some good results.